Erin Cara and fame. We will always remember her name. That's it. Thank you to my 80s guests, Evelyn Thomas and Paul Monks. Thank you, Johnny California, Jasmine Rowland and Fergus Brazier. Sounds of the 80s with Gary Davis is a listen production for BBC Radio 2. Thanks for your company tonight. Next Saturday, 8pm, we're going to party caramba and fiesta at the Regent Theatre in Stoke. I can't wait. I'll see you then. Good night. Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. The former Scotland rugby international Doddy Weir has died six years after learning he had motor neuron disease. He was 52. In a statement, his wife described him as an inspirational force of nature and said it was difficult to explain just how much he'd be missed. His friend, Brian Dickey, who's also the Director of Research Development at the Motor Neuron Association, said Doddy Weir had raised millions of pounds for charity after his diagnosis. He certainly was a larger-than-life character. He had a huge personality, a huge heart, and I have to say a huge determination to raise awareness about this disease and, of course, also millions of pounds for MND research. An NHS trust has begun an investigation after the family of a five-year-old boy say he was sent away from Rotherham Hospital and later died from pneumonia. The uncle of Yusuf Mahmoud Nazir says they were sent home because of a shortage of beds. Five days after falling ill, he was taken to Sheffield Children's Hospital, but the infection had spread and he died. The chief executive of Rotherham NHS Foundation Trust has offered his condolences. After a critical report concerning the culture at London Fire Brigade, its boss has vowed to sack anyone found to have been racist, homophobic or misogynistic. The Independent Review said the service had dangerous levels of ingrained prejudice against women and that colleagues from minority backgrounds were frequently the target of racist abuse. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, says he's glad the service is dealing with the situation. This report has to be a watershed moment where we get rid of... Uh, the institutional uh, racism, homophobia and discrimination that exists in our fire service. Rail services have been disrupted across the UK again after thousands of drivers at 11 train companies took part in another day of strike action. The walkout about pay was called by members of the ASLEF union, which said negotiations with train operators had broken down. The government's urged union leaders to work with employers. Some people at Euston Station in London were sympathetic to the train drivers. It's a weekend for us. We're not going anywhere particularly like stressful. I don't think that I have the right to complain as much as other people do. It's like about solidarity right I mean I guess it it, it is frustrating sometimes but it's very necessary and important it's been quite challenging to navigate around London without really knowing where to go I can understand why it's frustrating but yeah at the Football World Cup in Qatar, France have booked a place in the final 16 with a group match to spare. They beat Denmark 2-1. Both of the French goals were scored by Kylian Mbappe. In the late game, Argentina beat Mexico 2-0. And the weather rain will continue across much of the UK this evening, mainly clear overnight except for East Anglia and the southeast of England, where the rain will stick around for much of tomorrow as well. BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. What are you looking at? Hey. How you doing? This is BBC Sounds of the Mighty.